Bueno, el Partido Socialista ha sido el partido que van a proponer. Estas elecciones son importantes porque estamos enfrentando muchos desafíos. Spain's ruling Popular Party gained the most votes in the December 20th general elections, but it lost the parliamentary majority it had held since the last election four years ago. Four parties competed in the elections. It was the first time in history. The Popular Party got 123 parliament seats of 350, then it 176 to gain the majority. The Popular Party beat its longtime rival, the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party, in the 2011 elections. At that time, Spain was facing sluggish economy and high unemployment rate. We came from a previous government and an economic crisis, a previous socialist government and an economic crisis, which required uh, a, a government which was able to do all the necessary reforms. The Popular Party took a series of austerity policies after taking office and successfully controlled debt problems. We are now growing. Our economic growth is 3.4% this year, which is the highest in the entire Eurozone. We are also fighting very positively against unemployment. However, the unemployment rate of Spain is still as high as 20% this year. Some austerity policies, such as cutting spending on education and Medicare, also aroused discontent among people. This was done with a lot of also um, sufferings for the population, with uh, measures which had to be taken which were not always easy to take, which required to limit uh, the expenses of the state to uh, limit the uh, capacity of the public administration, for instance, to create new jobs or new investments uh, for coming from the public uh, sector. So all this has had a uh, reflection on the sentiment of the population. Podemos, an anti-austerity party and a main challenger, emerged under this background in 2014 and rose to the third in the elections with 69 seats. Podemos developed very quickly because there was the economic crisis. So a part, a very important part of the Spanish society suffered strongly because of the crisis. So that made that uh, some parts of the Spanish population felt unrest. And that was the origin of this uh, protest movement, which was the M15, uh, which then developed into uh, Podemos. Right now the situation is different, because the economic um, conditions are being stabilized. So this is one of the reasons why uh, Podemos is losing support among the population. Since no party is leading the game, the Popular Party needs to ally itself with rivals before Parliament reconvenes next month. With one of the parties, probably with uh, Ciudadanos, one of these new emerging parties. Um, but I am, I am quite confident that the PP will most likely be successful in this uh, new challenge of creating a new government, a new coalition government.